your character, uh, Sandra, your character, obviously, is a political consultant whose job is to go and get a rich, arrogant, jerk elected uh, president. So I guess the first obvious question is, uh, what would Jane do to sell Donald Trump to the American public? I don't think Jane needs to sell Donald Trump. He's doing just She's fine. I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not that good. No. He's, he's doing just fine selling Donald. Donald sells himself. Yes. She is the brightest and most innovative. The best campaign strategist in the game. Responsible for the greatest political upset in history. There's nothing perfect about her. She's complex, she's troubled, she's struggling, she's dealing with some mental illness, she's dealing with addiction, she's dealing with life, you know, as most people are. And she's very good at what she does. Does that mean that she should be doing it? Does that mean it's the right thing to do? And what kind of person is willing to step off that hamster wheel for the greater good of humanity. You like to pretend you're not one of us. If you fight with monsters for too long, you become a monster. We didn't really time this, you know, to, to come out now in the midst of this huge, you know, uh, election, but it's kind of great timing. I mean, all you have to do is look at what's happening in the primary right now. I mean, it's, it literally is a circus. I mean, I mean, you could put a couple rings out there and some elephants and, and they'd fit right in. So. I feel like it's a great thing to show. And if, if nothing else, I think it opens the conversation and it gets people talking and looking not only at, you know, the, the film, the backdrop of the film is in Bolivia and looking at Latin American politics, but it's, it's universal. It's all universal. And I think we can all apply some of uh, the discussions that the film incites into obviously our, our, our modern domestic uh, election. I also think it doesn't just apply to politics. Yeah. It's in the entertainment business, what you do. You know, the manipulation, the cynicism, the, the, the circus, all of it. It's exactly the same. It's about selling. Wake up. This is war. There's only one wrong in this. Only one, and that is losing. I think the characters are in it to win. That's it. Yeah. That's their only MO. That's all they want. Is they just want to win. They could care less about what happens with the country or what happens with these people. And their job is to come in and win. And that's their only, you know. I think cynicism implies some sort of romanticism uh, existed in the first place. They think they're realists. That's a good point. Leave it to Zoe to just knock it out of the park and make Bye. us all look really stupid. No one has stupid. anything else to say. Like, mm, mm. This is what a good education looks like, right there. Yeah. <laughs>